All right, y'all, so during the pandemic, I was at Hobby Lobby and I came across their paint markers on clearance for $1 a piece, 99 cents, and they're regularly like $4 a piece. So I think they were changing companies or brands and they were just trying to get rid of them. They had like 25 of them, so I bought all 25 of them for around 25 bucks. And um, instead of spending $100, got a good jump start on some paint markers but I never got around to using them. And today's the day, let's go. So approximately like four years after buying them, <laughs> I finally start to bust them out. And I think I decided to go with a little Houston Texans theme. Shout out to Gmo for the idea. So I threw together the sketch, drew it on the canvas. I had this little hectagon canvas laying around for for some time now. And it was just collecting dust, so I went ahead and cleaned it up and put it to work. The red was going on pretty good, but kind of light in my opinion. I thought it was just uh, the markers in general. I've never used these markers and I couldn't really find any reviews or anything about them. But when I busted out the blue, it went on way smoother and a lot more vibrant. So when I paint, I usually like to you know, go uh, do an outline and then fill in the blanks. When I get closer to the star, I slow down a little bit, gotta be more precise. Then I busted out this orange that I had. Yeah, so I had the colors. I was happy about that. It was uh, about 25 markers, but some of them were um, doubles. So it wasn't 25 colors in total. But after using them, I'm happy with the way they perform. Just got to get used to them a little bit. I don't really use paint markers that much, so I had to adapt to that. Especially like in this part. It's when I realized that these markers come with two tips and you can switch out the tip for a chisel tip for more uh, precise areas. But at this point I wasn't going back. Then I busted out the white. This is a white that I already had laying around because I didn't have any whites in my pack. In, in the markers that I bought, there was no whites. So after I let it dry a little bit, I came back and hit the orange with a double coat. After painting on the canvas, I realized that I shouldn't have put that much uh, pencil on the canvas because it mixes in, the lead mixes in the pencil lead with the, with the paint. So that's why I had to go over it is orange to make it more vibrant. And um, so it could stand out more, get that nice Astro's orange bright on there, you know, make that white pop out. Got to get into the crevices. There we go. It's looking nice. I decided to go with the golden background because I had two two golden paint markers and I and I was looking for a light background. So this one was perfect. It kind of reminded me of the rockets. The rockets, because it, it says gold, but to me it's more of like a yellow-orange type color. So it, it reminded me of the rockets logos, you know, the colors a little bit. So still keeping it with the H-Town theme and colors. You know, start from the outside and go in. That's how I do it. Get closer to the more uh, technical parts and then slow down. Also, if you haven't liked the video yet, go ahead and hit that like button for your boy. Drop a comment, man. Let me know what y'all think. Any ideas for me? 
This was uh, an idea by uh, my boy Gmo, holding it down. <laughs> what up, boy? Threw together this little, you know, Houston Texans theme piece. And yep, I like the way that background came out. I decided to go in and um make this Rockets logo pop out a little bit better. So it could be more distinguished and separate from the Texans. Got hit it with the little details and crevices. Something about uh, focusing on something and like painting and or drawing that it's really relaxing. I feel like people um, don't give it enough credit how much stress or leaving it is. Add a little details right in between right there. Bam, bam. Make it pop, you know what I'm saying? And then I decided to go back with the red and, and give it a double coat because that red did come out pretty light. So it wasn't the, the paint markers. It was just that specific color. So I went ahead and boom, double coated it. Then I had to hit it with the signature. You know, every artist got to gotta leave your mark. And that's it. It's time for the final shots. The sexy shots, the glamour shots, the money shots. I'm solo. Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what I should do next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.